Hi, Justin. Hey, how you doing? I'm very good. And welcome to your first time hosting at Superbooth. I know you've been here before as a punter. Yeah. But this is your first time with Ferry Island Modular. That's right. And um, yeah, I've been watching you guys on Instagram and stuff. And I noticed you had this cool module called Four Cs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, can you just take us through what it is? Yeah. So, so fair, uh, four C's. It's our we call it a four-dimensional wavetable oscillator. Um, it it uh, gives you your wavetable as a uh, three-dimensional cube. So you got your x, y, and z axis. But the but the real magic comes from these four outputs, which are all going to be related to your original wave position. So you have x, y, and z to set your position within the wave cube, mm -hmm. and then you have x, y, and z spread, which uh, which will give you an offset, a cumulative offset across the remaining three outputs. So, oh. so yeah. So if you imagine, uh, if you imagine output one is like a point within the cubic space. Yeah. Right. And then outputs three, four, and five are going to be three more points within that space. Yeah. And as you affect uh, x, y, and z spread, they they spread throughout the cube. And why that's cool is because you're going to wind up with sounds that are different enough from your original sound, but they're still they're still timbrely similar. So it's going to make your patch sound coherent, and you can send these outputs all over your system. There's a lot you can do with okay. it. You can, uh, yeah, you could, for example, send uh, send four send four outputs to different filters or LPGs or whatever yeah. if you want to do like techno thing. Um, you can put all four into a mixer and do just massive drones. You can do unison drones. Um, or it does really great for stereo stereo pairs because yeah. if you if you go two outputs into a stereo. You know, even just a stereo mix or a stereo filter, just affecting any of these spread will give you a really nice stereo image. And then the other spread we have, this is spread, which is spread over the frequency relationship of the four. So your one is always going to be your base frequency, which you set by your tune and your volt per octave input. Um, but then you set the spread, and that defines the relationship of the other three. So, for example, if I set it at noon, I'm going to get roughly a unison with maybe mm. a bit of detune. It sounds massive. Um, and as I turn it, for example, fully clockwise, uh, in mode one here, we're going to have, uh, it'll, it'll be like your main frequency, two times that, three times that, four times that. So, in other words, the harmonic series, right? And then if I go counterclockwise, then you have the subharmonic series. Um, but then we also have this spread mode, and that's, that's where I think it gets a bit more interesting because... Um, we have additional uh, additional frequency ratios defined that you can experiment with. We have, mm. for example, prime numbers, the Fibonacci sequence, golden ratio, oh. just intonation. So it allows you to play with with frequencies that you might not necessarily think about when you're when you're doing you know traditional Western music. You can experiment with microtonal stuff. Also, you have CV control over pretty much everything, including that spread, which means that, for example, if you step sequence that, you can dial in chords. Or, oh, and yeah. yeah, and they don't have to be chords. So, I mean, you could do chord, chord, super noisy chaos thing, <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and you have a ton of flexibility. And sequence that. Yeah. yeah. Um, envelopes into that are pretty cool. If you oh, want to, yeah. you know, if you do come percussion stuff or then if you want to do the THX, THX sound. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Then cool. um, we have, you have 12 banks. They live on your SD card here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you have CV control over the bank. So, and of course, you can load your own waves. They, they're serum compatible. Um, and you can even hot swap the cards. If you, you know, for example, between songs, you want some different sounds, you can swap in your card right, and do right. that. Um, you've got a tuning lock, which is very important for performance so you don't accidentally knock it out of tune. <laughs> yes. You've got your smooth button, which uh, toggles between uh, stepping through the waves and then uh, smoothly morphing through them. Oh, nice. Then we have, uh, we have two audio rate modulation inputs up here. Which, uh, which are controlled by these OSMOD modes down here. And I want to talk about the modes for a sec because it was very important for us to make this uh, very limited modes, no screens, no menus, no presets, yeah. and no weird key combinations. Yeah. Um, because just for me, I, I just have a hard time. I want to be able to just to plug in my module and play. We made it. Everything is pretty much there. It's what you see is what you get. Uh, we have... But there's three oscillator mod types. There's, there's this one. The blue one is a through zero phase mod that I think sounds really nice. The orange one, it's a, uh, it's a phase, mo uh, phase distortion wave shaper. 
Oh. Which, uh, yeah, which is really <laughs> great for putting drums through, guitars, vocals, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to play guitar into it, and yeah. then I'll, I'll use like an expression pedal to control my position within the wave cube. So you get some really expressive stuff that way. And because you have two of these, you can process things in stereo. So you could do like stereo samples or whatever. Right. The third one is uh, a very glitchy digital XOR bitwise thing that sounds, uh, <laughs> it's like Trent Reznor would like that one. Right. You know, or someone. But, um, but you know, there's only three. So it's not like okay. you need to pick up the manual. Sure. It's just like, likewise with our sync types, you've got hard sync, so, uh, soft sync, and flip sync. And then um, each side can be used as an LFO mode. Okay. So you can have up to four complex wavetable LFOs. So if I turn that on, now these two become LFOs. And if you self-patch it, it gets pretty crazy. Because yeah, it's I can basically, imagine. Yeah, it's basically feedback patching yeah. at that point. So, Well, can we yeah. hear, hear a little bit of what this sort of what's going on? And, yeah. and, and I should say, because you call it an oscillator, Yeah. but we're also able to process audio through it. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, That's I'm, well, so, ba so basically, without getting too much into the, the technical details, but when, when you're in wave shape or mode, you're basically replacing the internal phase accumulator. Okay. So whatever signal you inject will just index directly into the wavetable. Right. Um, which can be right. really cool. cool. Oftentimes it sounds pretty noisy, but like in a cool way. It's kind yeah, of like yeah. a non-linear distortion kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And like right. I said, you could do it in stereo, so. So, yeah, let's have a listen. Okay, so, so um, first I'll just dial up a little... Um, yeah, so I just got like a basic kind of, uh, basic kind of droney thing happening here. There we go. That's coming through. So as I, uh, I'm in, I'm in a bank here with some, some complex harmonics. And as I move through here, you can see how it smoothly oh, warps, yeah. you know? Oh, and this is, uh, yeah, this is the dry signal. So yep. that's just directly out. Very rich. Yeah, a it's lot of low end retained as definitely, well. Definitely, yeah, and that was important for us because I think uh, wavetables have a bit of a reputation of maybe being a bit thin sounding. Yeah, yeah. But I really wanted to make it possible to use this for good bass sounds and stuff. Um, of course, if I if I take it up, you can hear it. Yeah. You know, and you get that really nice morphing thing. I've got another bank here that's like this is based on um, linear feedback shift registers, so it's it's like kind of gritty. But, you know, with, with regards to designing these waves, we wanted them to be a little bit noisier because you can always filter them, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like you want to give, you want a lot of harmonic content for Start your filters. Start with a very rich yeah. uh, starting point. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, not, it's not prescribing any style. You can yeah. use this for any style, you know? Um, but yeah, so, and then, but then if I bring in the other, if I bring in another voice here, I'm going to bring in voice four, and now we're going to have a stereo pair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so you could hear I just get, if I turn my spread up, we get a little bit more of that kind of like detune kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, make sure these are all set right. Yeah, that's good. And then as I move through it, you can hear the stereo image sounds you really can, yeah. really nice. And especially when I start affecting the spread, because now we're, we're sort of offsetting both of them within the 3D space you know, all, all at the same Ooh, time. Yeah. So um, this plays really well. For example, I've got, the, I've got a joystick here. Shout out to Erica Sense. And uh, oh. this, you, you can just morph this and it yeah, sounds so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. If I just allow myself a little bit of delay. Yeah. And now we're in Droneville, you know, and you can do just so much cool stuff with that. Cool. Um, and of course you can sequence the banks. You can switch banks on the fly. I'll bring in this one here. Oh, it's some lovely low in there. Yeah, it's yeah. it's got it's got the heft. Yeah, it really know? has. Um, so, but yeah. Um, so then also, um, I like to use it for a lot of this kind of like techno kind of stuff because I'm you know, I guess I just like techno. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I'll, if I just patch out of this for a sec, I'll patch into a filter here, and so this is uh, also. Yeah, okay, just a sec. <laughs> Live patching. Yeah, right, what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. so there we go. So it's going through a filter now. Yeah, so now we got uh, something like three sisters. Throw yeah. three throw uh, three of these outputs in there and just start modulating. Yeah, yeah. And you get some real nice kind of richness, kind of phasey things happening. Um, and I, I'll take the, the delay off again, just so you can hear it dry. But then, for example, if I get a little sequence going, 
you know, and that's kind of, that's one thing. Now I got a little bass thing going too. Yeah. And that's just, you know, that's some bass for you. Yeah. But now if I turn my spread up, now we got a little bit more of a sequence thing happening yeah. here. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to go turn that down a touch. Let's bring in a bit of a bass drum. And now if I bring up, I've got I've got Dixie patched in to four C's as a, as a as a phase modulator. So if I bring that up, we get Whoa. this kind of you know. Wow, think, yeah. <laughs> I think it might be a little. There we go. It was a bit out of tune, but uh, you know. And then, um, then for this one, I got uh, the audio out of Wagabug coming in here. I'm doing a little bit of hi hats with it. So if I bring those in, oh, okay, yeah. So you're still, it's still the same patch. It's all coherent because it's all come, it's all derived from the same from sound the same, source. Yeah, you know. And so we're using this as a, mod, a modulator with a bit of phase mod to create these cool hats. If I patch in the burst, you get this cool open hat thing. All from one. Oscillator. Yeah, exactly. Wicked. Yeah. Sounds you know. great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So then, um, and then, yeah. Then of course you can modulate that, that because it's all about modulating, right? So we're gonna we're gonna get our, you know. Just record the, the joystick, and now this is creating more motion here. And you can see the leaves will show you what your modulation is doing. Right. So oh, yes, with, with the feedback of the colors. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, so you have some idea what your yeah. what your stuff is doing. And then, hey, well, I just feel like I'm going to switch that up a bit. What if I just, um, what if I just unplug my Volt Pro Octave, and what if I switch my bank? Cool. Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. When we go to this like more like basic one here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that's okay. that's kind of the gist of that, yeah. man. Nice one. Just thank you so much for this. It's yeah. Really cool. You should be proud of this one. Thank you, man. And yeah. uh, I can't wait to have a jam on this as yeah. well. Yeah. It's going to be available this summer. Oh yeah. Um, at uh, either direct from us or from Schneider's Latin so far. We're talking to other distributors. Yeah. As well, and uh, we're we're aiming for ballpark price of five ninety nine. That's five nine nine eight euros. We have to we have to figure out the details because yeah. it's our first time doing it. Yeah, sure. But um, yeah, yeah, we're very proud of it, and I'm more than anything excited to see what people make with this. Of I want to see people creating some interesting stuff with this oscillator. Great. So. We'll head over to FerryIslandModular.com, folks. And uh, yeah, thanks so much, guys. Thanks. Thanks, man.